Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology and we've been talking about the tough number series questions. This is the third lecture of tough number series questions series and in this lecture I'm again going to talk about three very very difficult number series question and I'll also tell you how to solve this kind of question if you see them in your CSIR UGC net exam, especially UGC net paper 1 or CSIR net paper 1. So let's move on to the first question here. So what number fits the best in the missing place and this is a unique kind of question because in this question two separate series is given okay and you need to find out the relation between both these series once you find out the relation between the two then only you can uh, be able to solve this kind of question so uh, let's look at it very carefully you can see that uh, this is one two three four five five different numbers and also five different numbers here so definitely there is some relation between three with five three uh, this 10 with 3, 7 with 5, 5 with 4 and 9 with the number that we don't know what that we have to figure out. So we need to find out a relationship between this 3 and 5, 10 and 3, 7 and 5. Now the relation can be addition or deletion of the value. So you can see that 3 plus 2, 5. So again in this case 10 minus 7 gets 3. 7 minus 2 gets 5. So there is no relation. You know in the beginning we have addition then and then deletion of 7, then 5, then 3. There is no relation here in terms of numbers addition or deletion that's very common thing that a people may think when they saw this kind of problem but in this case you need to really think out of the box because we're discussing about difficult number series question tough number series questions so to solve this tough number series question we need to really think out of the box and if you write it down if you write this this one down uh, continue uh, with this with this idea uh, from this point because you know we don't know what 9 is corresponding with so we let's uh, keep 9 out so we go, go with 5 7 10 and 3 so if you write down 5 so if you write 5 spell 5 5 uh, is of 4 alphabets so four, like 4 letters are required so 4 letters so now 5 is corresponding with a letter 4 that's how the 5 is related to 4 now let's see whether uh, we are correct of cracking the code so 7 S E V E N 7 corresponds to 7 uh, 5 letters sorry it's corresponding with 5 letters so 7 corresponding with 5 letters the same way 10 T E N corresponds to 3 letter and 3 T H R double E T H R double E corresponds to 5 letters so we easily got the pattern the pattern uh, written here in this black color is uh, the number and we spell the number the total number of letters required to spell the number is given in blue so that means uh, the same pattern if you follow for 9 n i n e 4 letter and we know 4 letter should be placed here so the blank position here should be 4 okay so the missing number here is 4 got it now let's move to the next question solve this number series identifying the last number so you can see this question quite easily that this number series is 1 4 5 6 7 9 11 so it's a progressive series and as I said whenever you find progressive series it's quite easy to solve you know generally uh, it's simple addition or, or multiplication to get the answers or you can look after the prime number series as well now in this case 4 is there 6 is there so definitely this series is not of a prime number series or odd and even number series and if you look at the addition value 1 plus 3 gets 4 4 plus 1 gets 5 5 plus 1 gets 6 6 plus 1 gets 7 7 plus 2 gets 9 so literally there is no pattern of addition profile as well so how do we know what is going on there now I, I've solved many of this linear progressive series question but I found this question really really interesting and you'll be amazed to know uh, the code behind this question the code says something like uh, spelling again it's linked with the alphabet and spelling you know we have been talking about the spelling in this lecture in the last uh, question we also saw how spelling is linked with uh, the, the letter series so in this case we can see that 1 uh, this is 4 this is 5 6 7 9 11 and if you if you if you check the spelling you don't find any code literally if you see if you write down the, all the spelling 1 4 5 6 7 9 11 so they carry all the vowels it's not like one of them uh, does not have any vowel nothing like that they don't they all have consonants so so this this thing is not uh, fixed we cannot explain it quite easily the only thing we can explain if you if you consider it very very carefully is that all the spelling one four five six seven nine eleven none of them have a t 
uh, in that spelling because you know a lot of the numbers from 1 to 100 actually carries t the moment you you talk about 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 so every single uh, letters if every single number if you if you look at here all of them carry this letter t in it right t is a very important letter in in this whole uh, number series from 1 to 100 only few 1 4 5 6 7 9 and 11 does not have them so as one more number uh, missing that that is 100 if you spell 100 you will not find any t but before 100 99 also carries a t so the nearest number after 11 that does not carry a t in their spelling is 100 so this alphabet this number series will end in 100 so isn't that amazing so there are so many amazing puzzles like that you can always see so let's look at the last puzzle of this lecture identify the next two numbers in this sequence 101 112 131 415 161 718 so again a definite progressive uh, series and when you see progressive series as i said easy to solve and especially when you see progressive series uh, made up with three separate uh, numbers 101 so generally there is a relation between uh, the number one with the third uh, from uh, or one with the middle or uh, you get the middle number by subtracting one with three or three to one or by adding one and three or, or uh, three to one so all these things are there but if you look at here in this case uh, we can start explaining the like one minus one gets us zero two minus one gets us one one minus one so it's explaining that one minus one zero so three minus one means third and the one first minus you can get zero two minus one similarly gets one but if that is the pattern then one minus one should have zero but in this case it's three four plus five also one one minus one should be zero but six so it's not explaining okay when you start thinking about it remember some people started to think about a particular idea but that idea should be carried out from the beginning to all the way to the end that's what number series are all about that's what the tough number series questions are all about so in this case you need to think really out of the box and if you think very carefully you can see that 10 uh, 11 uh, 13 so there is no meaning if you take first two if you take last two it's one uh, it's 12 it's 31 again nothing okay so if you think about it as a two digit number then how can you think about it this is of 10 11 then then what one 12 13 15 16 18 So think about it this one gives us 10 then 11 then 13 but again when we look at this one I think you get 15 from there 16 from here 18 from there so 10 11 13 14 gap 15 then 16 17 gap 18 then there will be 19 then 20 gap 21 right are you getting the point so the moment you're looking at this series you can find either 10 11 12 by first two or by last two that doesn't matter but actually there is a double digit number hidden in all of it so by that same pattern you can say that two consecutive numbers 10 11 then one number gap then again consecutive 15 16 one number gap 18 then again consecutive 18 19 then one number gap it will be 21 so 19 and 21 though how you can write it now how you can write it you can write 192 0 2 1 that's how it's given one in the straight first two digit then last two digit so the corresponding values will be 192 and 0 2 1 okay so that's how it's done it's really difficult 
and in this kind of problems they generally give you options so options will guide you to solve it but this is uh, the way to think about this question to be solved okay so again you see this kind of tough number series questions require your iq and a lot of practice to solve them very clearly okay so once you know those things once you know and once you have adequate practice you can solve any of this tough number series questions any of this difficult number series question and if you want to get more of this difficult number series questions to solve you can check gpuzzles.com gpuzzles.com is a reservoir of all this number series questions a lot of questions are there with answers with explanations with discussion that you can solve on your own practice so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that so comment us to talk about talk more about this kind of problems thank you